What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot and I'm going to make this as quick as I can because I do not like this set. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I don't like the set. Period. Don't like it. Why I don't like it? The materials just feel so flimsy. I mean, I just can't. You know, I gotta, so when we do reviews, that's why I'm starting out this way. Because when we do reviews, you know, the last stuff, most reviews are going to be a transform, figure, stage them. You got to do all this stuff. I didn't feel like going through all that with these two. And granted, I could have looked inside my, you know, various toy bins over to my right and left and try to look for um one of my Siege Megatrons. And I just like, man, I don't feel like going through all that. And then, of course, with Scourge, I like, yeah, he's sitting over there. But if I'm not going to really compare Megatron, why should I compare Scourge to Ratbat? Like, seriously, this is how this is how I feel about these two. And it's not, you know. All right, let's look at the vehicle modes, man. It's not going to hurt me down with these two. I got a lot of reviews to do, so I'm very busy. We start with the rat bat. So, the rat bat is all mostly purple and black. It's the cheap plastic. It's very, it's that, you know, it's it's not low quality. It is, you could tell this isn't the same plastic as Scourge. Like, I don't got to get Scourge and tell you that this, because if, I, when I, if you look at my Scourge review, I didn't say anything bad about it. The plastic on here is... You could tell. You can feel it. And he's purple. It's purple and black. You know, even the wing things are the same. The only difference is when you transform, you know, you can, you know, he's got like the bat thing on his chest. You know, if you want to do that, you know, he looks like Dracula or something. A little nod there, if you can see that, you know, but. All right. The Megatron. So the Megatron transforms into the H tank. It's, it's basically a remold of, um, of the uh, Siege Megatron. Other differences, though, you have this particular weapon that forms like a drill, and then, of course, you have the axe that you will connect to later. Uh, right off the bat, the feet on these are so loose, this toy does not stand. So to make him stand, I had to glue. I super glued, not super, well, it wasn't like I put super glue to make him hold, no. I put enough super glue on the parts, and then I let it dry a little bit, and then I made it, you know, form like a cohesion and that's the best I could do to get him to stand up straight. But you can see he's got the turret. He's got the yellow. Everything is a dark gray. And I do like the colors on this figure. I will say that. The colors on this figure, I love him. But other than that, that's about all he has is that. It, his plastic is not. He does feel a bit more sturdy. But the feet right off the bat not being able to stand up. Like you stand his toy up on a flat surface. It would just. It wouldn't, the, the, it, it's like. <laughs> It, it, it just disappoints me. So, when I get these things transformed, we'll compare them with some robots. Yeah, two and two, man. I wanted to do a full blown, you know, review of this set, and I can't. I just can't. So, let's talk about the Rat Bat first, because he's here. We'll talk about Megatron last. There's a few key points I like. Most I don't. The Rat Bat's not bad. Like I said before, the emblem on his chest looks like a bat. Looks like Rat Bat. The head sculpt is very different. He's got a little thing on top of his head, Chevron. As you can see the head sculpt there. Let's see if we can get in close. See it? All right. So he's got a nice looking head. All right. Other than that, it's the same body. Even the shape of the wings are the same. There's nothing different. You know, there's no, you know, nothing different on the back, except maybe the back is a little different. But that's about it. You're getting the same figure over and over again. Then on to the Megatron. Now, instead of having the cannon, he's now got the drill weapon, which I think is pretty cool. It's got the axe. The axe can looks almost like a gun handle. The head sculpt is really where this figure shines. Hold on. Because the head sculpt is very nice. Like they really did a good job with the head sculpt. She can see it there. Really good job. And the colors. Other than that, everything else that I stated earlier, the set is it's it's bad. Like the feet, I had they're they're not gonna be right again because I had to fix it and stuff. And it's just like right out the gate, it's terrible. And I mean the plastic quality again. This is from 2019, and I'm telling you, you know, and I wanted to put them two together because you know they kind of match, so to speak. And I do want to give them a Decepticon sign symbol. I don't care. Um, but as you can see, I just brought out the Decepticon impactor from that. I think it's the Amazon three pack with the clear Mirage and something else. And I like this one because he has the Spartan head and, you know, I just think they look good together. And that's all. I just kind of, I, I just don't, I'm, I'm disappointed. So I'm going to get this over with because 
I got like two more of these to do. I'm not really happy with the set. I like what they were trying to do, but I'm just not happy with the set. Like the rat bat is just scourge. Like the chest is different, but everything else is pretty much the same. Um, the Megatron, it's a, quite a bit of retooling here, but it's the, the joints are loose. Everything on the figure just feels cheap. I'm telling you, when you pick this up, I don't, I don't know what you reviewers are doing. I don't know if you think Hasbro's going to give you something. They ain't going to give you nothing, man. The toys, they, they, they're using a different quality of plastic and they're charging us more. And then the SKUs are messed up. Um, so if you bought both sets and you got them, you know, they're just different. But, you know, I, I would be honest with you. You can leave this set behind unless you really need the minor Megatron and the Senator Ratbat, you know, there isn't many much options on the uh, Megatron because we don't have an official minor Megatron. Um, the closest you're going to get to a minor Megatron is MMC. And I, and I, and I, all right, yeah, of course, that's going to be better. But because this uses these swappable parts, it's not the correct colors. It's like a, it's kind of still, the colors are wrong. So with the wrong colors, to me, I think Hasbro did a good job on it. But when you look at this figure, it just looks cheap. You can see that like, it's it's very just this one is not bad but you could feel it on this like you could feel the that it's got that that yeah to it that's all um it's just I, I mean unless you need it you, you you really don't need it like you really don't need it like you just really don't need it like this you don't need it so and and and, and I want to say this to people. We got we, we, we got to put our foot down with Hasbro and these products, and I'm not the easiest way to do it is just don't buy it, you know. And that's saying a lot. This, but I remember, you know, when Hasbro used to do these sets like this, you, you would you you would get a good deal. You know, the plastic was good. It, it, you know, sometimes it would you know they would use cheaper plastic for the sets, but usually the prices were, I'd say, fair. You always got a little bonus when these sets came out. It's because the stores would put a sale on or something. You always would win when they made those sets. This, this just isn't a win. It just, it cost you, it, it, the price was wrong and high. And all we're getting is the same stuff. Do you realize how much of the same stuff we're going to be getting? A lot of the same molds are going to be used over and over and over again until who knows? It's just going to be like that. And I'm seeing this as a trend. I know other companies do it like MMC. They do it, you know, with some of their stuff, but their quality is usually you know, just a higher tier. And they, they do try to make these changes mold wise, um, you know, but you can see, you know, where they were coming from, where they were starting from. And being in Hasbro makes these figures. Why are we getting such cheapness? It, 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 it's, it's just cheap, man. Like Out of the two sets, when I go to review the Orion packs and um, Senator Shockwave set, that set, the plastic quality is on point, though we'll, we'll get into that. But the plastic quality is loads better. It looks better when you pick it up. It feels better. That's all. These things are made. It's terrible, man. It's just... And the modern Megatron does grow on me. I love the colors. I, I, I think... I love the colors. It just doesn't work for me. So it's not a recommend. But if you want it, go get it. But it's just not a recommend for me. You can save your money. And, uh, yeah, with Hermione Megatron, maybe. But the Rat Bat, you got some options. There, there are quite a few releases. Hopefully they're better. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Rat Bat unless he's the cassette. So even either way, it's just kind of like I really want the Megatron. Even then, I should have just refused the set. It's trash. I stopped.